Ribble Group at Keller Williams Realty. Um, this is Saturday morning. We are doing a Facebook Live as well as Zoom. So have both things happening right now. Um, I am at our property at 6196 Coleman Street in Arvada. Um, it is listed for $825,000. Um, just went on the market on Friday. We've had a ton of showings on it already. Um, this is really a special house. Um, and I will be showing you and telling you why. But I'm just going to wait for just a couple of minutes while we can let a few more people get on so that they can, you know, see and watch the whole, um, the whole tour. Please, this is very interactive. So if you have questions, just like you would at a regular open house, just don't hesitate to ask. Um, you are anonymous. We're not going to be bugging you. We're just going to answer your questions and we're trying to sell the house this way. So, and show you all the features of it. So if there's something that I scan by too quickly and um, you know you want me to go back to that, please don't hesitate to ask me to do that. I'm happy to do that for you. Um, if you have questions about like what's around that corner or um, how old is this you know, particular feature or something like that, if I know the information, I will gladly give it to you. So, um, so please don't hesitate to ask. Also, I want you to know that we can do um, now live uh, showings on properties. So if this is a property that after you see it here on the open house, you would like to have a private tour, you are welcome to do that. And we would be happy to, um, to show this property to you on a private showing. Also, if you would just like to do a private Zoom call, so you're not, um, you're not comfortable with going in the house at this point, or you live out of the area and it would be easier to do it that way, we are very happy to do that too. So we just are here to serve you and to help you see houses um, as easily as possible in the times that we're in right now. So I am going to go ahead and turn us around. So this is what is so amazing about this house. Um, in fact, if you are on Facebook Live, give me some hearts if you guys like this view. This is such a beautiful view. This is called Wildflower Pond. And this house, I'm actually on the deck as I am taking this video right now. So this is what the pond looks like. I would guess that it's probably about 20 feet from the back gate of the property. So it's actually two acres. The surface around it is two acres. You can walk all the way around it. Um, I will be going downstairs. There's the neighbor next door, just so that you can kind of see what the neighborhood looks like. I'll kind of pan into the yard. There is a hot tub and we will try to get that going here. Um, I've got one of our agents is here with me. So um, if you guys are listening, if one of you could go down and open up the hot tub just so that when we go down there, it's open, I would appreciate that. Um, so you just saw the neighbor's house that is to the left of us. The neighbor from the right, you can't even see. It's all trees here. Um, can, oh, dog barked just right on cue. That was good. Um, here is the backyard from up above so that you can kind of see. It's actually a pretty good size, pretty decent size down there. Um, certainly big enough to kick a ball, probably put a little volleyball net or something up. Although if you hit that ball too far, it could end up in the lake. Okay, or the pond. Now there's two different um, ponds with this house, or one is a lake, one is a pond. This is the pond, this is Wildflower Pond. And then there is about a block away, another um, lake, body of water that is actually a lake and it is called Hyatt Lake. And this house has membership to Hyatt Lake. Um, and the membership is deeded with the property. You cannot sell it. I'm actually going to go to the front. I'm just walking through the house briefly here to start it back out at the front of the property so that you can see that as well. Um, so Hyatt Lake is um, 
about a, a block away. You can walk there very easily. It's gated. They have um, non-motorized boats. This house actually owns a paddle boat that comes with the property too, because you can use the paddle boat out on the pond below. Um, and so a lot of people that live in this neighborhood, there's only 175 people who have membership to, or 175 families that have membership to Hyatt Lake. And so um, it is highly coveted because there's just not that many bodies of water in the Denver area. So here's the street just to kind of show you what the neighborhood looks like. Um, this little street right here, right in front of me is the one, it's about a half a block down there to get to the trail that leads to Hyatt Lake. So here is the exterior of the property. Again, 6196 Holman Street, priced at $825,000. Was listed on Thursday night. So we started having showings yesterday. We've blocked showings for the open house today, just so that you can actually see the house without other agents. And we can't all be in the house at the same time. So here's the front yard. Here's who we are. We are the Ribble Group. We specialize in um, Arvada. We actually have been the top producing team in Arvada for 19 years in a row. So we sell in West Arvada, where I am, 400% more houses than the next closest agent. So we know these houses inside and out, know these neighborhoods inside and out, the schools, all the, of those things. These are actually really good schools um, that this house feeds to. So, and I'll talk about that more as we go in. So here's the front porch. And we've been respectful of the homeowners and taken shoes off. Pretty little flower arrangement here. It's very peaceful, very quiet. We, here we are on a Saturday morning and it's just very quiet outside. Okay, we're gonna go in. Is there any questions about the front? Um, it is a three car garage that I think you saw. Any questions before I start going into the house that anyone has? You can use the chat feature and we can answer questions that way. Or you can, if you are on Zoom, you can just talk to me and I'm happy to answer the questions that way as well. So this house has been updated from floor to ceiling. In fact, speaking of the floors, I love the wood floors. It is a dark, darker wood, which is very in right now. It is hickory, which is a very hard wood. They took the floors throughout the whole main level as well as up the stairs and into the master bedroom as well as the stairwell or the stairway up above. I'm gonna go ahead and pan on this light fixture. It's got all updated new light fixtures. The wall colors are um, kind of a buff color. So you can see the trim. The trim is a three inch trim down below. Um, and so it's an offset color, but very neutral in most parts of the house. Turning around at the door, it does have leaded glass, which is really pretty. This is a new door. Um, like I said, most everything in the property is new. The windows are vinyl windows and they are newer as well. Here is the living room. So this is the formal living and dining room. And in every room, except for a couple of the bedrooms, you can see the, the pond right outside. So, which just gives you, when you're in here, it just is so refreshing to be able to see that. This dining room is really nice size. We've got a round table here, but you could easily extend it and do a large table that would be great for family holidays, things like that. Question? Oh, I thought someone was going to talk to me. It's way more fun if I can have a conversation. Okay, this, I am now standing in the dining room and this is your view. Is this a view anyone could get used to here? It's beautiful, isn't it? 
So great. Okay, leaving the dining room, here's kind of the big view of the dining room and then the formal living room. One of the things with the Ribble Group is we do professionally stage all of our properties. So if you are thinking about selling your house, um, we will come in and bring our stagers and all of our staging items. You can see this table is set so cute. Our stagers are so talented with these things. And so um, we do that for no additional cost for our sellers. So that's just something that um, a lot of people just aren't aware of. And, um, you know, when they see what we do, it just really makes the houses look like a model home, which is always our goal to just have it look in the best light that it can. Okay, I am now going into the kitchen. So the kitchen has also been fully updated. These cabinets are a hickory cabinet. They're a espresso dark cabinet. It has, I'll get up close here so that you can kind of see the color. Here's the backsplash. So it's got this small subway tile backsplash, which is very in and current with white, gray, and some beige in it. Here is the granite countertop. Not exactly sure of the color, but it, I know that the family of this color is called Alaska. So it could be Alaska or something like, you know, a, a close match to that. One of the things here, we just like to promote that if you use our lender, we do have some special financing where you can save the, the closing costs, basically, almost all of the closing costs. So on this house, if you were putting 20% down, it would save you $9,000. And so that is something that we are able to offer you um, as long as you are, you can even be working with a different realtor as long as you're working with our listing. Okay, so here is the bay window. Again, notice the lake or the pond out behind it. And I'm gonna do a broader view here of the kitchen. It does have a really good size breakfast nook here. This is just kind of a standard table, but there's a lot of space around the table. So you could go much larger if you wanted. Has stainless steel appliances, GE Cafe. Gas stove, which is really nice. And the wood floors again here. Updated light fixtures here as well. And also here in the breakfast nook. Okay. Is there anything that anyone wants to see again before I leave the kitchen? If so, don't be shy. Okay, we're now in the family room, which is really the heart of the home. It does have a beautiful gas log fireplace and a nice spot for a large TV. If you wanted to do the TV up above, you could do that too. Um, I know that sometimes people like to do that, so it gives you the option. It's good size. There's room for another piece of furniture here if we wanted, but we didn't like blocking the views because we know that the views outside are just such a big piece of this house. So the kitchen is open to this room. You can stand there while you're at the sink and look into the family room. Okay. Also on this floor is a powder bathroom with a pedestal sink. It has wallpaper in here. Wallpaper is really coming back. Um, and I really love all the different colors and things with texture. Texture is very in in decorating right now. And then we have the laundry room here. So the laundry room has a little countertop here, washer and dryer, and we're going to go into the three car garage. Oh, I forgot to turn this light on. I heard someone, when you're doing this, you never know how many people are out there. 
So even whatever it was that you said, <laughs> I'm glad that you are here. Say hi to me, you guys. I don't care who you are. Just say hi to me so I know you're out there. Who's there? Just shy people. Okay. So that wraps up the main floor. Um, I already took you out on the deck, but we'll, we'll end up in the back again. So we're now going to go up the stairs. Again, as I mentioned, it does have the iron balusters and it's got the wood flooring on the stairs, which is really a nice touch. So there are four bedrooms up here, which is unusual. It's hard to find a four bedroom house these days. There's actually two other bedrooms down in the basement, which is fully finished in a walkout basement. Here's kind of the view looking down. And we're gonna go into the master bedroom. This master bedroom is one of my all time favorite master bedrooms. Um, I love the flooring. They've got plantation shutters, but the shutters are a little bit more contemporary than, um, you know, than a lot of them that you see. So I think that it really lends to the look here. So how would you like to wake up to this view every morning? This is literally out the window from the bed and I am standing right next to the bed here. The room is long or wide. You could put the bed against this wall if you wanted to. They have a dresser there um, and you could look straight out at the pond or you could put it the way that they did, which is lots of space here, ample room for nightstands on either side of the bed. And here's the window to the bed. Either way you had it, you would be able to see the views. I like the accent wall kind of a dark gray, a little bit of a steel color, a little bit of blue in there. And then the kitchen, or the kitchen, the bathroom, the master bathroom is amazing. I have shower envy for the shower. So this shower has three shower heads. It is a steam shower, fully enclosed. Beautiful, beautiful tile. It's got a mosaic floor. Granite here, they spared no cost on this shower. I can tell you that. Isn't that beautiful? Just really, really classy finishes. Here's the double vanity, two sinks. Again, the dark espresso or cafe colors in the cabinets. A little linen pantry here with beautiful knobs. Hey, did I see a chandelier in the bathroom? You did see a chandelier. So wow. I will show you that again. That's and cool. it has heated floors as well. Oh, wow. So granite oh, colors. So cool. Um, so there's there's the chandelier, heated floors. Custom closet. Here's the water closet. That's not the custom closet, but you can even sit in the bathroom and look out and see the pond, which I love. That's probably too much information. So here we are in the master closet. Whoops. I just turned the lights off. They have, um, oh, okay, this is user error. I'm sorry I had them on, but I can't do it one handed. Here you go. There's also another light above, but they have. Um, all custom uh, closet organizers in here. The wood floors again, which is very nice. And the lighting actually, they, most of the lights in this house are on a sensor. So they turn on and off when you enter and exit a room just for energy efficiency. Okay, going to the first guest bedroom, secondary bedroom, or the second bedroom. <laughs> Remember there's four. Whoever's bedroom this is, they're gonna fight over who gets this bedroom because of the views out the window. All of these bedrooms, I am so impressed by the size of these bedrooms. They are all super big and they all have this built-in shelving. 
So um, if you wanted a home office and didn't need four bedrooms, this would make a great home office with that shelving too and the view. Here we are in the guest bathroom, the hallway bathroom. I did not have to do the lights. They just did that on their own. Gray cabinets, a quartz countertop that is super pretty. All of their finishes here, I just love them. They're um, so soft and you know super, super current, but very spa-like. The light fixtures are nice in here as well. And then here's the flooring. I like that it's got double sinks in here so that if you are sharing, it makes it easier to do that, as well as has a door to the toilet and the shower. And here's the shower. I just love this type. So it's very easy for two people to use this bathroom at one time with that door. Okay. Again, our wood floors and then going into the third bedroom. Again, really generous size in here, two windows. And this one also has built-in shelving. If you go to our website, which is the ribblegroup.com, you can see this house and we actually virtually staged these bedrooms. So you can see what that looks like with furniture in them. And here is the fourth bedroom. Again, big windows, three really large windows here. And it too has the built-in bookshelves nice closet. So really impressed with the size of these bedrooms. So um, there is a swamp cooler as well as central or um, sorry, an attic fan, as well as centralized air throughout. Um, I was here the other day and they had the attic fan going and it really made it cool. And we didn't even have the air conditioning on. So um, you can kind of take your choice. Okay, going down the stairs. Does anyone have any questions about the upper floor, the second floor of this house? Okay, now we're going down to the basement. Actually, before we do, I'm gonna just, for anybody that came in late, I'm gonna go out to the deck again so that you can see the deck. It is a wooden deck in good condition. Plenty of room for a table and chairs here as well as your grill. But outside there's a nice patio um, that you could do a lot with as well. Okay, so we are in Arvada, Colorado. This is called Wildflower Ponds. The elementary school here for this neighborhood is Vanderhoof. The middle school is Drake and the high school is Arvada West, all of which have either excellent or high ratings. And again, here is the beautiful pond, such a quiet, serene setting, large mature trees. This is that kind of place that when you've come home from a crazy day at work or whatever life brings. This is a beautiful, peaceful retreat to come to. Okay, I'm going to go through down to the basement. It is a walkout basement, has two generous sized bedrooms, a recreation room, the flooring here is an engineered wood flooring on the stairs as well. So that's pretty cool. Here is the first bedroom. This bedroom is right off the stairs. So if you have 
you're going to do something with guests or whatever, but you want a room that you can still use for maybe exercise equipment or something, this would be nice because you wouldn't have to come into the rest of the basement. There is plumbing here if you wanted to do a little wet bar right here. That would be easy to do. This bathroom, as well as the others, is equally as updated. So really beautiful bathroom. I like those light fixtures there as well. This has got that same quartz as far as the countertops go. These are um, all new cabinets, so not just painted over. They're actually new, very current and nice. Here's what the flooring looks like here. There is a window, and here is the shower area. Okay. Any questions on this? There's also a nice little closet here. Which is nice just for storage as well as linens and things like that. Okay, another closet right off here, just for some additional storage. And then we go into the recreation room. It's got this beautiful fireplace with stone. Lots of texture again. As I mentioned, it's a walkout basement, so you can go right out here to the backyard and to the gate with the pond. Lots of space down here. This is actually a really generous size room. I'll try to give you the full effect. There's some furniture here, but I'll try to give you the effect of this. Through that door is the mechanicals, a little bit of extra storage space. There is also a um, storage uh, shed out back that I'll walk around and show you. So here's the other bedroom. It's got two closets here. And I'll open the door to the mechanical room for you. Two hot water heaters, a humidifier, and the furnace in here. Okay. Questions at this point from anybody? French doors, double French doors that are leading out to the patio. There's also a dog door, which is always nice to have if you have a pet. And now we're in the backyard. So again, lots of um, surface space here for entertaining. Because of course, if you lived in this house, your house would be the one that everyone would want to have a party at because of the views. It's just so special. Here's the storage shed, which is pretty good size. And then they have also another little space for trash cans and stuff up there. They did a lot of... Um, Stairs and concrete work here, which is nice. The outside was recently painted as well. So I'm walking in the backyard now. Mature trees. Here's the hot tub. It actually opens up a little bit more. I'm sorry I didn't get that open for you. Fully. And then another sitting area here on this bricked patio. It is fully fenced, yeah. so if you do have a pet, neighbors keep their yard really nice. Patriotic people have a flag flying there. This is a cool tree. The vine actually was growing up the tree. And here's the gate that leads out to the pond. And I'm going to step out here just so you can see. Sorry. Okay. 
So I'm now outside of the backyard. There are benches along the way here. You can see a bench down there. And here is this pond. There's a child care center on the other side of the pond, some businesses, really great walkability, a little gazebo over in the distance. Um, you can walk to restaurants that are literally just about a quarter of a mile from here, a few blocks, um, and restaurants, shopping. There's a great church that is over here. Here's the back of the house. Look okay, at it this. sounds really peaceful and quiet there too. It is very peaceful and quiet here. Very, very. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can turn you back around. Okay, here I am. So, thank you for joining me. I know that this was probably a little bit lengthy, but um, I really wanted you to get a feel for this house. Like I said, it's really kind of a special house. So few of these properties anywhere in the Denver metro area have this type of a setting and background. So um, thank you for being here. Again, my name is Gay Ribble. I'm with the Ribble Group at Keller Williams Realty. My number, if you would like to schedule a private showing of this house, is 303-929-9456. I'm available this afternoon as well as tomorrow. So we'd be happy to come and set a time up. Um, I'm expecting it will probably be under contract by this weekend. So by the end of the weekend. So if you have interest in it, you better hurry so that you can still get it. There's only about mm, maybe 15 houses on this block that back to the pond. So there's not very many. Um, again, we're at 6196 Holman Street in Arvada, Colorado. Um, my name is Gay Ribble with the Ribble Group, 303-929-9456. If you would like to see a 3D tour where you can kind of walk through on your own, as well as a video walkthrough, you can go to ouropenhouse.com which is a website that we have. And you can go look at that site and see this house as well as others that we have listed right now. So thanks a lot. I'll, leave, I'll stay here for just a couple minutes. If any of you have some questions that you would like to talk with me about, or if you would like to talk offline, um, just go ahead and if you're on Facebook, go ahead and um, message us and give us that information. If you're on Zoom, you can go ahead. Sorry, I just got a call. <laughs> If you're on Zoom, you can 